Yeah. Hey guys, Bonsai Rider, still booking up, still hanging out with uh, Mr. California up here. How's it going? I'll do that too. Watch me eat shit though. Whee! Anyways, I want to talk about weird wacky wild japan just like in the thumbnail just like in all the titles of the articles you've read from buzzfeed about japan because honestly i think it's full of shit and uh yeah i, I don't know why and i don't know why it's like that because you know i feel like japan is one of the more normal places that i've lived it's always portrayed as some wow what is this it's always portrayed as some weird, wacky wonderland. You know, where everything is weird and up is down and left is right, but it's it's not that way. Everything is so... so... not normal, but just everything is so... in order over here, I should say. Let's talk about that. I mean, like, for example, in America, ow, bump in the road. In America, somebody has the purple hair or something, right? So, somebody walking down the street, and you maybe you notice it, maybe you don't notice it, but nobody's you're, nobody's gonna say anything. They're just gonna say in your head, oh, look, that guy's got purple hair, and move on with your day. In Japan, somebody's got purple hair, orange hair, pink hair, whatever, basically non-black hair. They're going to avoid eye contact. They're going to pretend like they don't see them. They're gonna, you know, avoid avoid them. And then once they're out of the way, they're gonna talk to each other. Hey, look at this guy who's got orange hair. Look at this, look at this girl's got purple hair. You know, weirdness. Weirdness sticks out like a sore thumb over here because it's not it's not really socially acceptable to be weird over here. Of course, you got your people that are, are kind of going to be your outliers of society who are going to be weird people and do weird things, but, you know, Japan is always portrayed as just being this wacky, wacky place. It, it, it really, it's not. You know, if you look on BuzzFeed, what are the, what are the ones you see? Japanese people, hmm. Japanese people dye their teeth black. Japanese people fuck up their teeth on purpose. Japanese people don't have sex. Japanese people are raped by tentacle monsters on a daily basis. Japanese people have pixelated vaginas. Japanese people I don't know, you, you get the idea, like, it's always like, it's never like, a Japanese person does, it's always the whole, the whole kitten caboodle, Japanese people. Did I just say kitten caboodle? Did I, when did I become my grandmother? Wow, that is awesome! I love Japan. I love living in Japan. I think we made a wrong turn somewhere. Alright, so I think I've done the wrong way again. It's fine, that was a fun look. That's The views are beautiful up there though, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes it's good to get off the beaten path. I think this is uh, Route 7? Yeah, I, you know, I don't know where I am half the time I'm, I'm riding around. Right. I usually get lost and then I, I find my way back home with the GPS. Well, um... I think this might be a Route 7 because the river is on that side, isn't it? No, we haven't crossed the river. I've, I, no, I have. Uh, you think I'm exaggerating when I tell you I have no idea? I have no idea where we are. Okay, um. Let's go up this way. If, do you still want to go up to Koyo? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good to go. Alright. Oh, it's in here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, first try. Let's do it. First shot? First try.
Okay. For every subsequent one, you gotta give me a dollar. For what? For every subsequent miss, you gotta give me a dollar. No. <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> All right. Here you go. And it is. I know. I keep saying this. I need to expand my vocabulary, but it is just gorgeous out here today. So, what was I talking about? So somebody from a different country does something stupid and it's just like, okay, this person's weird, this person's crazy. Something, somebody from Japan does something stupid or crazy or weird and it becomes like Japanese people do weird stuff. It's like, it becomes so generalized. And I don't know why Japan is so fetishized, you know, in that way. It doesn't really bother me, but... I feel like it's something that a lot of people would be surprised to know that it's not so, it's not all anime and tentacle porn and weird BuzzFeed-esque things. Oh! Two dollars! Three dollars! Four dollars! It's getting expensive. You know, you, you take a look at a, you look at a magazine like Sky Mall, right? There's a bunch of, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, useless wacky ass shit in that magazine. But do you think people look at that and say, and think that that's like, part of American or uh, Western people's daily lives, no. But if a one picture surfaces from Japan from the mid 80s to the uh, mid 80s, mid 90s Japanese grainy ass picture of a Japanese person brushing his teeth with, uh, I don't know, like a Barbie doll shape, I don't know, thing. It, it shows up on BuzzFeed. It's like, you won't believe this wacky, this wacky way that Japanese people brush their teeth. Anyways. Man, I love this road and this bike. 